Okay guys, this might be a stupid idea, but we are back in Minecraft and I'm going to be trying the 100 days in Minecraft challenge all over again. If you don't know what happened to like my old save files and everything like that, I'll be putting out a video pretty soon that it kind of explains everything that happened. Um, and yeah, and why we need to start a new server. But our world's almost loaded in, so let's just get into it. Okay, so our world has spawned in. Um, I have watched a few other people play Minecraft, um, like Aphmau, and I do know that you have to do a few things kind of first. But we have spawned in in a desert, which is kind of like a unique location. I normally do build my houses in like woods or I always get that terrain. So this is going to be interesting. The first thing that I want to do is definitely find that underground. There's like an underground tunnel, I think, somewhere in here. Um, I think if I mine this, I should be able to go underneath. And there is usually like a bunch of treasure and stuff. But I also know that there's like a pressure plate or something like that, where if I step on it, the whole thing will explode. So I think I should just grab some sand so I can climb down. And hopefully there's like diamonds because you know, like that would actually be incredible for me to get diamonds this early on. I have a thing with diamonds. You guys will know if you saw my last video that I have such a trouble with getting diamonds. It's actually kind of insane because I'll go mining where you would normally find diamonds and I'll be near lava like for 20 minutes for like two days and I still won't find diamonds. What? Um, I'm just trying to figure out what the best way down is because I don't want to blow up the pressure plate and I don't know exactly where it is located. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to go for it because I really want to be able to make a house before nighttime. And I think I have enough sand. Oh my, I don't want to hurt myself. Ugh, it's so dark. Oh, sorry about the thing in the corner that says two minutes left. I kind of just like have a time limit. No way. No way did we just find diamonds and gold and a golden apple. You guys don't even understand how crazy this is. Like, wow. Guys, I don't know what I should even use my diamonds for. I got two, which is like pretty good, but I don't know if I should use it for like armor or I do see like a lot of people make like weaponry. So like, I'm not sure if I should make like a sword or something like that, but it looks like there might be four chests. And if there's two diamonds in each chest, that means I'm gonna get like eight diamonds, which would be amazing. Like for someone who never starts out with diamonds and like never ends up with diamonds. Guys, this is like a good sign. This means that we're gonna do really good. Okay, so I managed to get out of there alive, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I ended up only getting four diamonds, which is okay. That's still like really amazing. And I got 11 gold, two golden apples. I got a saddle, which could be really helpful if we find a horse. I got seven bones, which is also really good because I obviously want a companion like a dog. Obviously, guys. And um, I got three um, emeralds and four iron, which is, again, really amazing. So that's like good little loot spot. Now, I'm not exactly sure where we should go. Like you see in the distance over there, there is like a uh, kind of like grassy plains because we do need wood and we can't find wood in a desert. So we are going to need to like find a place to live. But oh, such a cute little bunny. Oh, we do kind of need meat though. So I might need to kill the bunny. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, no, bunny, don't fall into the ravine. <laughs> okay, I've been chasing this bunny for like... 10 minutes now and this bunny is literally op like i cannot get it for the life of me so i think we're gonna have to give up on our dreams of catching the bunny and just move on so we can get wood before it turns dark because you know it gets very scary at night and i don't like being scared because it's all spooky and i don't want to have to fight mobs so i do want to be able to build a house so that we don't have to do that because that would be very bad 
So I have done a little bit of exploring and I found this area that wasn't like the rest of the desert. It had oak wood, I think it is, and like other resources. And best of all, it had tons of flowers, it looks like, which it, you guys know me, I love flowers. I literally decorate my entire house with flowers. And I just think they're so cute and make your house look so like put together. So we're definitely gonna have to pick some of those up. But let me just like collect a little bit of wood so we have some wood for tools and like materials. Okay, so I got some wood which we can use for some sticks and I think we should build like a diamond tool. Oh wait, what's this trapdoor? Oh my God. No way I just did that. Oh my God, I clicked on the trapdoor and I thought it'd like come up in the resource menu on like what you could build with it. Guys, I just wasted all my iron. And I think I mined for a little bit too long, so we have to build a house really quick. Okay, so it's not the ideal situation, but I kind of just built a box around me. So that way we can kind of just like build tools and don't have to stress about like mobs killing us pretty much. And we can kind of like just wait out the night. But I can't believe I wasted all my iron. Like, are you kidding me? I would have been able to like maybe make a hat or like shears or something like that. But instead, I made a literal useless trap door, which is just so annoying. But I'm going to put like my crafting box below my feet. It's kind of hard to see because it is really dark. But let's see what I should use my diamonds for. So I was kind of thinking instead of like, um, like things like a helmet or boots, I was kind of thinking more on the fact that maybe we should make something like a pickaxe because i do know that i think it's like a pickaxe and a sword are very close in like damage but a pickaxe will be able to mine obsidian and i do know that i'm pretty sure that's really important for like making an ender portal or i think a nether portal there it is so i think we should go ahead and make ourselves a diamond pickaxe and i'm probably just gonna wait the night out until it becomes day so if you're wondering where we are what happened was i mined like a bit of wood to see if it was day yet and it wasn't and then a zombie came in and started attacking me so i needed to run away and i made a boat like out of my wood so i think we're going to just like sail on the water and try and find a village because I do need food and I'm kind of, I'm gonna eventually start getting hungry and I need a bed so I can go to sleep because this night's gonna take forever if I don't find a bed. So I think the best way is if we kind of just start sailing on the water. I found a mushroom, <laughs> let's just get that. I've been on the water all night and I, I didn't find one village which was kind of annoying but it is starting to get a little bit lighter out. And the oddest thing is that I didn't really see any mobs the first day, which was good, other than that first zombie, but like, also kind of, kind of weird, which was, yeah, kind of odd, but I, I'm gonna need my boat, so let me just break that, and hopefully we can find a village soon, otherwise I'm probably gonna need to sail again next night, and that's definitely not ideal. Guys, I'm probably gonna get hungry soon, and I just found like a field that has pigs, so uh, I feel so bad. But I'm probably gonna need to kill you, Piggo. Oh, why are they so cute? They're so cute. Oh. And it like takes a lot longer because I don't have like a sword. Guys, I literally just turned around and I can see houses. I finally found a village. And it even has this like little area up here where I can start making my home and like eventually even connect it probably to the village, which is like perfect. And release an inferno on the villagers, so they're gonna love that. And because I don't have a bed yet, I'm just gonna steal this villager's bed so I can sleep for the night. And we are on to our next day and I'm gonna start my day the mob killing way because a bunch of mobs have just spawned in front of where I wanna build my house very inconvenient mr creeper so i'm um, just gonna yeah okay there we go try not to explode and i think i saw a spider up there but i don't think they're like supposed to be scary if it's daytime so we're all good 
I was also able to, to collect a little bit of birch wood from the forest and um, I'm just starting on my house. I did get a few comments in my last series that you didn't really care so much about me building the house and wanted to see more of like the action and fighting and I totally understand that which is why I've kind of cruised more over the building of my house. And for those of you who actually do want to see how my house is made, I can totally make a video on like how I build my houses because I think for the most part they're pretty similar and I kind of have a style which kind of always works for me. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see that. Guys, I think it's about time we kind of explore the village a little bit more and definitely loot some of their chests because I want to be able to get more like resources and stuff. All I'm gonna say is that this blacksmith is looking awfully wealthy over here, so I definitely think we should go and check this house out. See what's in the chest. Oh, you kind of let us down, bud, but at least there's some leather boots, so we can definitely use those. I don't know if I made boots with my gold. I think I made just a chest plate and a helmet, so yeah, then we can definitely equip those. So it turns out the village was actually kind of useless and absolutely had no treasure or loot whatsoever. So I kind of just went back to building my house. And this is all I was really able to get done before nighttime. So let's just go back into a villager's bed. I should really probably take one and put it in my own house, but I don't really have a roof yet. So spiders could definitely get infested in my house, which is not ideal, obviously. So yeah. And look what I spy with my little eye, some free torches right here, which we can definitely collect for free and um, finally get light, guys, without even needing coal. Wow, isn't that just like incredible? The bonuses of stealing, wow. am I right, guys? <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Definitely don't steal. That's very bad. Stealing equals bad. Don't steal. Unless you're obviously in Minecraft and then it's completely fine. <laughs> Okay, so I was able to put some flowers down in front of the house, and this is how it's looking so far, like without a roof, obviously. And this is the inside, I kind of need to finish the flooring, but that's gonna have to be where I end it for today, guys. Just a reminder that we're trying to hit 100 subscribers by my birthday, that's February, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!